It's been 238 days since we've used liquid nitrogen to overclock a CPU, and that's just way too long. So we grabbed our P4, the, the top of the line, Intel P4 3.06 gigahertz Pentium 4, and uh, uh, a doer of liquid nitrogen. Is that a measure, a doer? Yeah, well, I don't think it's a measure, but it's a particular type of container. Oh, that's the doer he's holding right there. Yeah, that's really... Gonna, now, i got to warn everybody, before you start doing this at home, it's very important to get the protective uh, headgear. So I'm going to put that on. Choppers! And very important to wear your protective headgear. And Patrick, by the way, is last time we didn't have the elk gloves. We now have the gloves made out of elk hide that are designed to protect him. Those will freeze solid like in three seconds. That's not I, I, they're, they're, These are welding gloves, but they're right. the thickest gloves we had. So liquid yeah. nitrogen is how cold? Is it 192 degrees? I think Martin knows it off the top of his head. 192 degrees, Martin? You now, went we to the, college, didn't you? the safety goggles for Mr. Laporte, please. All right. But let, it's, let me, it's cold, Leo. Yeah. safety goggles on. Yeah. Yeah, very important because uh, protective gear is everything in this business. <laughs> Do I look like Kevin Spacey? <laughs> All right, dude. Let's overclock. Rock and roll. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to actually take this seriously. We, we, shouldn't be, we shouldn't be frivolous with this, because so it really is. Yeah, this, this stuff will burn you, right? As, yeah, as cold this, as it this, is. This stuff will make your life unbelievably miserable. You could, you could actually lose a finger or an eye or Well, a the other thing it does is it will actually freeze <laughs> or any other parts of your anatomy solid. Yeah. Um, so anything that protrudes burns. could actually be lost. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. So wink. don't, don't protrude. Yeah, don't protrude. Tell you what, Leo. Should what does the gummy? Worm, what does a gummy worm do? Is that a part? Well, at this part point, I think we were supposed to demonstrate exactly how cold this stuff all is. All right, stick a gummy worm in liquid nitrogen and look what you get. Well, a first gummy of all, you make a, it's, it's funny. You're watching the, uh, yeah. Solid as a rock. So this is okay. really disgusting, actually. Let's do How it about, again. Let's stick the McDonald's baked apple pie in there. No, let's not, because somebody has to clean it up. And Leo, I know it's not going to be you. No, no. <laughs> yeah, this is now frozen. Hard as solid. a rock. Yeah. Wow. Um, they also. Can you hit it with a hammer and smash it and all that? Probably, stuff? but yeah. again, last time we like had Mr. Wizard. We had a lot of lot of food Little residue. Of, yeah, that's not yeah. good. Okay. It's uh, so it's, it's boiling, by the way, boiling rapidly. Let's fire it up. We actually got it up to about 150. Uh, megahertz. The stock speed for this chip is like a multiplayer of 23 times 133. That okay. gives you the three. So gigahertz. getting to 150 is going to get that chip considerably we faster. We we're actually hoping to get it up to 166. Yeah, let's see. It, that's, this that's is probably set pretty low. It's manual 163. All right. Let's Can see you this. see this? Okay, he's in the BIOS now. When you overclock, really, there's only one way these scroll, days to overclock, which is to, to increase the bus speed. The, scroll up a little bit. The chip is locked at 23x. You see where it says 163 for the external frequency. That's on that. 30 megahertz faster than normal bus yes. bus speed, which that's means what is 30 divided by 133? I mean, that's the increase percentage. Yeah, obviously, you can tell that. I Martin, you went to college. What is that? <laughs> What is what? Huh? <laughs> Martin really doesn't pay attention during. He the actually show. went to Hamburger U. It's not the same. <laughs> right. Actually, he's a graduate of a very prestigious Come on. university. Who's fast with math? Thirty divided by one thirty-three. Four. Four. It's a That's forty percent increase. I don't think it's quite that much, but mm -hmm. it's close. Okay. It's close. We were hoping to hit four gigahertz. We're not going to hit four gigahertz. We were. Is it running? Is it? So this is it's, it's running. running. It's booting. It's going to get well over three. Let's see. Hardware monitor found an error. It's because it doesn't see a, a floppy drive. Oh, okay, that's not important. Start windows normally. 0 0.22. 0 0.22. 0 0.22. Thank you, Paul Block, who went to college. Ken I Marcus. Ken Marcus. It's actually his job on the show. Many people don't know. Doing math. <laughs> yeah, he's the mathematician. So all the way from that to boot Statistician. Up. We've got basically the big styrofoam cup here. Using that it's as a booting. Ball. Inside of this, yeah, basically. You son of a gun. So it's it's 22 oh! percent. It crashed. Yes, yeah, so this is the fun. Like Yoshi and I have been doing this, and then Yoshi's, you remember something. Yoshi's in the side, like, like, show the megahertz speed. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> you know, and 37.95 so was the fastest we saw for a few 37 seconds. 37.95, 37 which would be 3.79. So you can gigahertz. see this. Wow. Let's get a shot of that again. Basically, what we have is a copper tube, a large copper plate. Why we took off a heat sink. We use that. We basically we use that, and we've insulated it to try to keep. We have so much. If With we leave what, the bare friction copper, tape? Um, we actually have. Uh, styrofoam underneath that. Okay. But what happened though is we were finding that if you don't, if you look down, you've seen a huge amount of frost. This is a lot less than we were getting earlier. That's moisture. That's yeah. condensation. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Computers don't like moisture, moisture. in case you didn't know. I knew that. Yeah. He's a good start. I so didn't go to college. <laughs> so uh, why, better explain to me, what is nitrogen or cooling it like this have to, have to do with the overclocking? Speed? Well, overclocking, right, one of the biggest problems with overclocking is your CPU getting too hot. 
So we're trying to eliminate CPU temperatures. It's definitely the not getting too hot. Here's the problem. Yeah, it's, it'll be interesting to see what Might, the temperature looks like. Could it get too cold? Restarts. It probably. We could you have freeze the electrons? We're convinced we've actually frozen them. When we were playing around last year, um, we got it to some ridiculously low temperatures, and we managed to seize up almost the entire board. So, so you think 163 is a little too high? So we're going to go to 162. 162. Oh, you know what else is? We need to. Sometimes you bump the voltage when you're overclocking. That was our problem. That gives you a little more reliability, right? All right, let's exit and save. Okay. Save configuration. This is an Asus nice. motherboard, which they are very nice. They have this soft BIOS that allows you to overclock very easily yeah. in the BIOS. They make some nice motherboards. They're, they're good stuff. So we're going to watch this. We're going to watch this restart real quick. Here's we talked thing, yesterday about steppings of the Athlon. Mm -hmm. Is uh, was that true also of Pentium chips that uh, some are easier to overclock? You could say that almost any, like, you know, the, this particular stepping worked great. It's almost like saying a Monday versus a Friday car. You know, the April Fords were the bomb. Yeah, you right, know what I mean? Right, it's a lot right. of it, it they seem Antoine. to vary, I think, more per batch than they do over time, although some people will argue about that. But some particular speeds have just found, we've found that are just more amenable to overclocking. Is it enough to say it worked if you boot into Windows, or is no. there, no? Because that's, no, that's wanna, not. You want to boot into Windows, and you want to do stuff with it. You know, the, the mere fact that you actually got it to launch is not right. much, but you want to actually launch it and run tests. It was ironic. We had, we were able to overclock a machine 50% some years ago, and mm -hmm. one ran Quake 3 great. But it couldn't run Windows very well. So it's just, you know, you just got to, it A little it bizarre. Crashed. Didn't do it. It Didn't crashed. do it? Oh, well. oh, wait a minute. No, it rebooted no, it itself. Crashed. It rebooted. So about 160 was the most we could get out of this. The other issues, you've got the AGP bus, the PCI bus, the memory. All of that works together. And if they don't work properly, and well, overclocking is going to pretty much stress everything out you, on you're that. You're moving this video card 20% you know, faster right. as well. You're yeah. moving the memory 20% faster What's as well. What's nice is some of the newest motherboards will actually allow you to separate the PCI bus and the AGP bus from the front side bus speed. Which gets a little interesting. In theory, it should make it a touch easier. I'm getting the, the voice. Oh, here we go. CPU clock. And I'm just going to have a little 3724. Yes! Yes, baby! So, to 3.72 gigahertz. And we're going to keep playing around with this in the background, see if we can get it up. And to. you got, you said Yoshi to 3.79, you guys, earlier today? Well, we'll see, we'll see how high we can get it. 39 But it didn't, not stable. Not the happiness will continue for more information yeah. on overclocking with the element with an atomic mass of 14.007, huh? Go to thescreensavers.com. Don't you think, I think stability is a little overrated? Oh. Yeah. 